So in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys the luxury side of Toronto and one of my favorite hotel experiences in a long time. Cheers. What's going on guys? Welcome to another exciting and brand new video today, bringing you guys and showcasing the luxury side of Toronto. Now we ended up making it out here to the Ritz Carlton Toronto, arguably one of the most incredible experiences that we have been to uh, in the last couple years, and we're absolutely loving it. So we made it here a couple days back, staying in their Simcoe suite, uh, which is one of the largest suites in this property. We absolutely love the suite. We're gonna show you guys a tour later on, including a connecting suite uh, for Meaty. So he literally has his own king bedroom suite Suite right behind me and he's been loving the experience. Now specifically one of the reasons why we selected the Ritz Carlton is because of all the incredible experiences that they have here. Now before we came they asked us what we like from the wife to the kids to me. Uh, my wife obviously loves steak, she loves foie gras, she loves food uh, and we were able to tailor experiences based on preferences and things that we like. So yesterday's first experience was a shop like a chef uh, where we ended up going to the St. Lawrence Market with a celebrity set chef you could say down here, Chef Jeff Crump. He actually has three books I believe out there go check them out uh, and we ended up learning about the different meats and different produce at the St. Lawrence Market incredible amazing market full of people especially on the weekends and we ended up picking up some meats that we love uh, Rachel was absolutely excited about it uh, for us to learn how to cook later on that evening uh, and just cool experience with the kids at the St. Lawrence Market would highly recommend it now we ended up going back to the hotel we got some in-room dining they also set up this little cooking station for Ollie the Ritz kids station for Media and Ali, uh, apron set. Ali absolutely loves cooking, you can say. And later on that night, Rachel and I experienced date night at Toka's, which is the Italian uh, restaurant out here at Ritz-Carlton. Chef's Table, I believe that's what it's called. One of the most incredible and unique culinary and tailored experiences we've ever done. Now, as I mentioned, the kids stayed back at the room. Uh, we were given a little tour of the kitchen. Uh, they have this little private table in the back of the kitchen at Toka and the restaurant the Ritz uh, for you to eat at, uh, for you to experience, learn about the meats, learn about whatever you are cooking that day. And it was such amazing, incredible, tailored, unique experience, private dining experience out here at the Ritz Carlton. Chef's table that I would 100% recommend. So from arrival, the hospitality has been amazing. The kids have been loving the stay, loving the experience. Again, I'll show you guys our Simcoe suite later on, but right now I'm gonna wake the family up. Uh, we're gonna get some breakfast. So yesterday I had breakfast, I believe in the club lounge. Uh, today we're gonna check out one of the restaurants. We're gonna get some quick breakfast, and then we have some experiences that the Ritz Carlton set up for the family. And we're excited to show you guys. So I'm gonna wake up the family. Let's get out of here and get some breakfast. Thank you very much, thank you. All right, you guys, so we just had an awesome breakfast at Toka, the same restaurant as last night, but the breakfast was delicious. Uh, heading through the lobby right now, which we actually did a little scavenger hunt yesterday. Ali basically found these stamps. Three of them were in the lobby area, one was in the spa, just a heads up. Uh, and he was given a prize, so uh, that was kind of cool. And now we're heading to our car, meeting us in front of the lobby for adventure for the day. Big brother action. Aw. <laughs> You ready for today? I'm ready for today. All right, let's do it here, Ali. Here's our car. We got the Porsche by the Ritz. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So this is another Ritz Carlton experience. They're driving us for the Riverdale Farm experience, which I'm really excited to show you guys. Fam's full, all here. Is the front open? Yeah. I can sit in the front. Yeah. I got shotgun. So we got about a 15 minute ride, and we should be there. You guys ready? Yay! I'm ready too. Let's go, guys. I got it. Yep. Here you go, guys. Thank you so much. We made it, everyone. 20 minutes to Riverdale Farm. It's amazing the experience. So we came here in a Porsche from the Ritz Carlton. The guy's gonna wait for us uh, for about an hour, however long we need, and then we're gonna head to the next spot. But the Riverdale's farm experience, uh, it's like outdoor, it's nature-esque. Uh, supposedly it's for families. There's animal petting, I believe. We'll show you. Also, I don't think there's any admission to this too, so it's free admission. I see a chicken right over there. <laughs> All right, so basically this is everything. And the first spot is gonna be the pig and poultry barn. You wanna check out the piggies? Yeah. Peppa Pig's in here. <laughs> He's so excited. He's cold though at the same time. Okay, come on, right. get in. Let's there. go try, let's try go find Peppa. Come on. What, what is that? That's not Peppa. That's not Peppa? Is that, that chicken. 
There's a chicken. Ali, look, there's a bunny rabbit here. Let's give Ali some Rebecca. Yes, Rebecca. Is that Rebecca Rabbit? Do you see the rabbit? Rebecca Rabbit is eating. He's eating. <laughs> this is the best way to get Ali to go around. <laughs> see, they had a little... There's some more chickens. There's some more chickens? What is that one doing? <laughs> I don't know. What is he doing? That was a quick shot through the pig and poultry barn, which we didn't see any pigs. You think it's this way? Quack, quack. That's a great sound. <laughs> quack, quack. What does a duck sound like, Meaty? Okay, let me try. <laughs> We're just all duck call. <laughs> <At least. laughs> all right, let's see what is this way. So as I mentioned, Riverdale Farm Experience, it's free admission. You basically just walk around, it's like petting areas, and you just enjoy it with the kids. Kind of fun? Yeah, like I saw so many children and they're all very excited and have a great time. Oh, the horse, horse is over there. The ponies? Over there? Pedro the Pony? Jeez. <laughs> Apparently if you like Peppa Pig, all the characters are here too. Is this Pedro the Pony right here? Hi Pedro. Hi Pedro. So now we're gonna go from Pedro to the, the cows. <laughs> what do the cows sound like, Meaty? Ali? Moo. Moo? Meaty? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the fam is ahead of me. We're going into the Francie barn. What's in here, Ali? A kid. Okay. Let me help you. There you go. Who's your friend, Ali? Goats. Some goats. <laughs> Ali, Susie sheep's over there. Go, Susie. Yeah, here we go. Who's that, Ali? Come on, Susie. Come on. Me. Me. Eat and 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 eat. Yes, eat. Yes, All they do is eat, Ollie. <laughs> this is why I came here to see Ollie like this. <laughs> They're almost done. Hopefully. This <laughs> This guy's got a ball of energy today. <laughs> Run out of energy. You run out of energy? Let's go look at some more stuff. You want to walk around more? All right, he's ready. <laughs> if the pond wasn't frozen, we could probably enjoy the fish, but <laughs> yeah, it's a fun experience. If it was a slightly bit warmer, I think it's enjoyable, but free admission, walk around. The kids are enjoying it. Definitely check it out. I think we're going to walk around for a little bit longer, uh, grab our driver. We're going to head to the next spot after this. All right, you guys, so we made it 15 minutes back into the city. Uh, if you guys like hockey specifically, especially being out in Toronto, Canada, you got to check out the Hockey Hall of Fame. So we, make it, we made it to Brook Place, I think it's called, close to the hotel, about to arrive to the Hockey Hall of Fame. Hockey Hall of Fame. We got our tickets too, all set up by the Ritz, right that way. So Detroit, if you guys didn't know, is known as Hockey Town also. Some of my fondest memories when I was in high school was the Red Wings playoff runs. Not the biggest, biggest hockey fan, and you love the Red Wings, so we might as well check it out. There you go. So it's pretty much a ton of like hockey artifacts, stats, Hall of Famers, giant <laughs> goalie helmet. And look what we found, <laughs> Thailand's hockey jersey. But there's a fun fact about that if you want to explain it since you're Thai. They said that like the first tournament that we have been in, it was not done well at all. We were losing all five games played by a combined score of 217. To and three. <laughs> Thailand's hockey team oh lost five games, 217 to three in a combined score. Let me introduce you to Steve Eisman, Red Wings hockey. So this is our team, and this is our captain. The years that I actually watched in high school, and they actually played the Colorado Avalanche a ton. Joe Sackick, I remember Patrick Waugh, their goalie. But yeah, this is the Red Wings hero for a very long time. They had a lot of good players, but Steve Eisman was the captain. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. 
So this is like the replica of a locker room, I guess. So if you guys don't watch hockey, the Stanley Cup is like the big trophy that you win one team wins at the end of the season. Uh, after the playoffs, it's pretty much the Stanley Cup Finals. If you guys come to the Hockey Hall of Fame, you can take a photo. This is so cool. So even though uh, there's a sign that says you can get a professional photo for $10, or you can go up, touch it, you could get your own photos for free. So uh, if you guys want to check out the Stanley Cup, pretty cool experience, come to the Hockey Hall of Fame. So Hockey Hall of Fame, cool little quick experience. I think it was awesome just to be able to see and touch the Stanley Cup. I'm sure it's not a real one. What did you guys think, babe? I think it was amazing. I had a really good time over there. Getting inspired, want to pick up Maybe hockey. Maybe play hockey. Maybe. <laughs> we're trying to talk media into some sports, maybe hockey. Uh, but right now we're gonna head back to the hotel. So we got about a 15 minute walk uh, in downtown Toronto and then we're gonna show you our place, the Simcoe Suite, a quick little tour. Uh, and then we're gonna relax and then head to dinner later on tonight. All right guys, so we made it back to the Simcoe Suite. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour before we relax and show you guys dinner. This is incredible because yesterday they set up this cooking set, as I mentioned before, for Ali, the full kitchen. We just got back to this. Oh. It was my well, <laughs> we'll see if we can get it back, but this is insane. There's stars and lights everywhere. We got like a like a little space theme pod. Ollie's going in his tent. Last stop the moon. Last stop the moon. <laughs> this is the living room. So <laughs> we have an amazing view of the CN Tower. This is the living room of the Simcoe Suite. We have a bathroom right over there when you walk on in. The television right over here. We'll find you your cooking set. Relax, Ollie. We have a little dining table, which we've been eating room service and room dining here every day. And then right this way is our master bedroom. It's a beautiful bedroom, another awesome view. Bed's right over here and right this way. Let me turn on the light real quick. This is an amazing bathroom. So we have two sets of closets right behind me, right over here. We have two sets of sinks. We have a tub, stand-up shower. This is incredible and my favorite. So we have a smart toilet. Oh, it already opened. This is amazing. Now on top of that, guys, as I mentioned, Simso Suite, it's probably the third largest suite in the property. Incredible two nights here. But on top of all of this, Meaty has his own one bedroom king bed suite here at the Ritz Carlton. Meaty, how's your suite? How's your room? I love it. You love it? This bathroom, so this is Meaty's bathroom that he's been working with. A 12 year old in a Ritz Carlton suite. This is perfect. Lucky me. Lucky him. Everything has been so special. So you saw that setup that they had for Ali yesterday was a cooking set. We had like a little Peppa Pig chocolate decorative that they made for us. Meaty had this little sketchbook that they gave us. They've been writing these personalized welcome and all these little personalized notes over the last couple days. It's overall been an amazing experience out here at the Ritz Carlton, uh, Toronto. One of my best Toronto experiences ever. They also have a nice pool, they have a nice gym, and we're gonna show you guys dinner in a little bit. But I'm happy to be back, finally able to relax. So, Media and I got a nice little pool session and the pool area is really, really nice. We went to the club lounge area on the 20th floor because we had access to that, snacks, uh, drinks, awesome views of the CN Tower. Now we're going to at Epoch. Epoch, I think that's what the restaurant's called. We're gonna get some dinner. Wow. Cool. Do we have the whole room to ourselves? Of course. Please. No way. <laughs> this is amazing. We have our own pool table, babe. Oh, yes. I think it's time to teach the boys. Okay, I'll teach you. Right now? Okay. Okay guys, so this is Epoch's pool room. We got a nice photo of the legend Chadwick Boseman himself, Black Panther. We have a nice fireplace. Babe, what do you think of this experience of the room? It's so cozy, like speak easy and private. We yeah. have the pool table by ourselves. It's really special. Really special. We're gonna order some dinner. And I think I got a little request from Ali. Ali, did you want to learn how to play pool? 
You do? You've been so determined. <laughs> he moved the chair here. He's been moving stuff around. All right, I'm gonna play a little pool with Ali. We're gonna get some dinner ordered real quick. <laughs> um, liquid nitrogen that we use in our martinis okay. and um, basically it flash freezes the glass and makes it extra cold and okay. we serve one of the coldest martinis in the city because of this and it just evaporates in the air like this oh my goodness <laughs> and then when we pour the drink in it looks beautiful Wow, that's so cool. There you are. Mm. Refreshing. <laughs> we have all this incredible food out here. Epoch, uh, right in front of us, I have a steak. Uh, Rachel, what do you got, babe? I have like miso glazed Chilean sea bass. Looks really, really good. The food experience out here has been incredible. So this is their green room, uh, which is known because of the greenery right outside. Uh, we got the pool table, like a little private room that we get to eat dinner in. Um, incredible experience overall the last few days out here at the Ritz-Carlton Toronto, highlighting luxury Toronto. And every experience has been tailored, which we absolutely love. Highly recommend if you guys are coming out to Toronto and you want the luxury family style experience, especially if you're with little kids, definitely check out the Ritz Carlton. I'll put a link below to their website. Oh my god, so I can't end the vlog without another surprise for Ali and the kids. What is this? We're making ice cream. Ali, come here, we're making ice cream. Oh, he just jumped out of that chair so quick. Ice cream! Yes, my friend. <laughs> so we're ending the night making ice cream. Can't end the vlog without making ice cream at the Ritz out in Toronto. Oh. Wow. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Here you go. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, Ali, try it for the video. Let me know what you think. Is it perfect? Do you like the Ritz? Perfect. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We look forward to catching you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Good night. Cheers, guys. Cheers.